Hey, what's up guys? Jake here with Success Motors. Have an interesting video for you guys. I'm gonna be starting a video series and that video series is starting right now. And what I'm gonna do here, you guys, is I'm just gonna document what it is like to live with a Ford Excursion. So yes, I'm the Excursion guy. Yes, we sell a ton of Excursions. Yes, I've driven a lot of Excursions. Yes, 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 yes. Also, by the way, my apologies for the wind noise in the back. Anyway, I have purchased this excursion and I am actually going to keep it. All right, so up until now, I have been utilizing uh, a 2018 Ford F-250. You've seen it in some of our other videos. If you haven't, it's an epic truck. Uh, but I've been using that as like the tow pig, daily truck, etc., etc. And what I'm gonna do is I am gonna document what it is like to live with this Ford excursion. What's it like to daily drive? What's it like to take it to the gym? What's it like to get groceries? What's it like to tow 12,000 pounds? What's it like to live with every day? And that might be helpful for a lot of you guys. I'm also gonna document what I, uh, what I do to this truck and etc cetera, etc cetera. and i'm not going to keep this truck forever so at at some point i'll sell this truck and one of you guys is probably going to want to buy it uh so far i absolutely love it but so this kind of first video is just going to introduce you into the truck uh introduce you to the excursion uh or truck i call it truck sometimes that i am going to be uh daily driving and using and whatnot and of course stay tuned guys because there's going to be just a lot of videos uh in this series as i just document kind of daily life but man anyway super pretty day down here in college station texas if you're interested in buying a ford excursion we're your people if you're interested in just watching ford excursions we're still your people man so this one is cool it's a 2005 uh excursion of course it's a limited uh but this one well it's four wheel drive beautiful but man this one is kind of special guys so not only is it in great condition and it's cool uh, it has a four inch lift and it has a ton of work done to it which is why i think it's going to be a good one as the tow pig man that's probably a man i'll tell you what guys this is crazy that was just a little thing right there somebody honking at us man man i'm telling you twice three times a week even here in college station texas people see me and they know who i am um from this little bit of youtube channel it's kind of unbelievable but man thank you lord anyway this one has a lot of work done to it that is going to make it a really good tow pig so the previous owner did a ton of mechanical stuff to it and i don't even remember the list of stuff to be honest with you i don't even remember i'll just keep showing you around i don't even remember the list of stuff i'm gonna open the hood uh, I'm gonna have to include the list in a in another video or something. But I'm talking inner cooler this, transmission cooler that, head studs, gaskets, new heads, cold air intake. Man, I'm talking the works. This thing has been built and it has been built right. Also has a brand new transmission, a heavy duty transmission uh, with torque converter. Uh, just various things done to it to make it a good towing truck. Uh, also have airbags. We got the, the I guess it's the Airlift uh, brand, Airlift brand. Um, airbags in the rear with onboard compressor. Man, this thing is set up to tow. So it's going to be a great truck, I think, to utilize for that. A couple of things we're doing right off the bat. I hopped in this thing. So just a few things. I'll just make note that it will be done to it. I'm not going to do right now, but I will be done is new headlights of course that was kind of foggy i'm definitely going to be repainting the bumper because of the rock chips and it's got a little flaw right here and i like our things to be perfect and of course i'll replace the ford emblem because it is you know whited out although i think that's kind of cool that's like patina it takes a lot of time to get to that what else so we've got a brand new set of tires on order uh, if you guys are wondering these are the original not original but these are 16 inch wheels we got the warren locking hub these are size 375, no, no, 315.75 R16s, and they are just cracked up. Not bad tread, but cracked up. So I got a new set of tires going on Thursday. Went with the BF Goodwrench KO2. Uh, currently, it has a worn out set of ProComp, uh, Pro Comp shocks. We just ordered, I'll show you the receipt. Let's see here, I'll show you, I'll just hop in. This video, kind of an interesting video. And I didn't clean this truck, nothing. So just a little behind the scenes footage. So we just went, we just left here 
and we're going with Bilstein 5100 series shocks as well as the steering dampener $1,018 so it's going to have all new Bilsteins I was told Bilsteins for the price point are a good shock uh, especially for because they're a little bit more um, I guess they have more resistance or whatever the right word would be a little stiffer so they'd be good for towing so we got new tires going on Thursday new shocks going on next Monday I'm uh, going to go ahead and replace the windshield and then probably throw a a brow right here so that I can be blocked from the sun when I'm driving because I'm, I'm I put in 16 hours behind the wheel last week so I got to be comfortable uh, but yeah this one is the the limited it's got the edge performance doodad kind of built in I haven't had one with that yet so that's kind of cool it looks just real professional like it came like that obviously it didn't but so when you start it up you've got you know everything you need right there this one does have a lot of options the memory seats and the um, buttons on the steering wheel has pretty tight steering for the most part little slack um, which I guess you could even see right there uh, but for the most part it's pretty solid already has Apple CarPlay um, and I'm just connecting it right here forgive the Glock uh, yes I do conceal carry uh, yes I do always have a firearm yes it's a Glock Glock 43X personal protection is a must gonna get a new uh, trailer brake controller. Now I'm just remembering. I meant to ask the same people who are doing the shock if they can do this because it's already wired for it. Uh, but somebody took the controller out, so I need to get that fixed. Um, also, just you know, with this limited, you get you know power seat or not power seats, but uh, adjustable pedals, power seats, of course. Uh, the, this doodad with the Apple CarPlay is epic. If you're excur if you have an excursion, you've got the stock unit. I know it looks cool. At least I think it looks cool. But man, way more functional to have something like this, especially if you don't know where you're going. Half the time I'm using GPS. I also like that it's hardwired versus the um, like Bluetooth. I prefer that. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm doing new shocks, new tires, new windshield right now, and then we'll definitely do. Like I said, the bumper, the headlights, things like that. Man, this thing hasn't even been detailed. I'm probably not going to detail it as I drive it. Uh, oh, man, there's my wallet. Um, so a little dirty. But captain's chairs, I'll definitely make this right. Aftermarket TV that is now being held up with duct tape. So we'll fix that for sure. I'm probably, because I use... Because I use this thing, I use the truck a lot. Also, by the way, notice this is the original paint on this guy, and there's no clear coat issue. So I think this guy was uh, garage kept. Both of these barn doors open, but I'm not reviewing this thing right now to sell it, so I'm just showing you around. I'm gonna take the tire out, because that's not doing me any good. I'm gonna take the third row seat out so that I have a truck bed worth of space. So one of the things I'll let you know is I'm hauling stuff around all the time. So I'm going to see if this will work well as a, uh, as a truck. Got the sub. Sounds pretty good. Um, I don't know anything about it. Looks like it's a 10-inch Rockford Fosgate. Lots of dog hair. Husky mats. I like the husky mats. By the way, I've seen a lot of these mats. I like the WeatherTech for the front, and I like the huskies for the back. Boom. Uh, we do have onboard air compressor, but my understanding is that this previous owner was a cyclist and he actually hooked it up to where you could plug in right here and fill up your bike tires. So that's pretty cool. And it did come with the BW uh, seven inch drop down, which I've already been using that on my big truck and really dig it. By the way, got some mud flaps on this one. Really dig those. And we've got the Yokohama bike rack thing up there. So, man, this truck is absolutely epic. Uh, again, stay tuned for the just the, the video series, guys. I think it's going to be an interesting one. I'll try to keep them like 15 or 20 minutes because I know videos can get long and that can be a little bit much. I'll video myself recording this thing or uh, uh, tra uh, towing with this thing. I'll do it all so you guys have a good idea of what it would be like. Nonetheless, hopefully you'll find it interesting if you like excursions. Um, but anyway, man, if you guys ever have any questions at all, feel free to, to give me a holler. A bunch of you guys do. I get calls all day, um, almost every day, people wanting to just ask excursion-related questions, which I'm happy to answer them. 
Uh, so feel free to give me a call, shoot me an email. Of course, we got a lot of trucks right now for sale. I wonder what this is. Oh, well, I guess this is just a plug for the, if it's cold. Oh, it does have these rigid lights. That's cool. Um, yeah, so feel free to give me a holler, guys. I think we've got seven trucks for sale, seven excursions for sale, plus two or three that we have that aren't listed yet, and one or two coming in. I mean, it's excursion city down here, guys. But anyway, God bless you all. Stay tuned. Subscribe, like. Talk to you later.